So today we're going to be breaking down a super layered dark melody inside of FL Studio. <laughs> For the first sound in the melody, I started off with my favorite piano from Keyscape, which is the Wing Upright Dark Indie Piano, and overall it's just a super solid preset for these kind of melodies. And then here's the MIDI for that melody, and overall it's pretty simple because it's just a 4 bar pattern that repeats over with no variation in the second half. So to make those kind of chords, what I would do was start with the root note of the scale, so that would be D sharp in my case, and then I would go up and just make a normal triad, so using F sharp and A sharp, then I would add the 7th, which is uh, C sharp, and then on top of that add an F and an F sharp and I'm gonna bring those down to half velocity because they'll kind of clash. And how I brought that down to half velocity was by holding the alt key and then just scrolling on the scroll wheel. So then if we go back and look at the original MIDI, you can see that this is not a D sharp chord, this is actually a G sharp chord that I've done a bunch of inversions on. So going back to the chord we made, I would go ahead and pitch this up five so it'd be G sharp. And then I would go ahead and bring the, the D sharp down and also bring the double notes at half velocity down and then delete the full velocity B that was there. So now that chord sounds super kind of like dark and almost distorted. And if we bring that down an octave, it'll sound a little better. Maybe even one more octave. So that's kind of the sound we're going for for this type of melody. So then if we go back to the original MIDI, you can see that chord that I just made. And then I also did one more chord, which is just a normal D sharp triad. After that, I just kind of clicked in these two top lines by ear, which I don't really have a method for. I just kind of keep playing over the melody and almost kind of humming it out in my head or out loud to kind of get what I want the top line to sound like. And then for the last part of the MIDI, which are the bass notes, I like to add some chops and variation into the bass line. So that first card is a G sharp, so we have that as the bass note, then we add a chop, then there's no bass note, and then it comes back in to kind of transition up into that D sharp chord to end it off, and then of course a low velocity chop at the end just to kind of switch it up and add a little energy. So then I ended up actually rendering that out, but I added some effects before I did. So I started off with Fruity Flangus on the default preset with the mix turned down to 30%, then I added Tape Cassette 2 with the Wow and the Flutter at 10%, next was Halftime on the Half Bar preset with the Smoothing turned all the way to the FX side. Then I added a grow speed on the Tremelo preset just to give a little movement. Next I added two EQs. One of them is the old telephone preset with the mix turned down to 30% and the other one is just one to cut out some of the low mids and boost the highs. Finally for the effect chain I added a fruity compressor on the vintage preset just to finish it up. So then once it was all rendered out I actually ended up pitching it down an octave just to make it a little bit deeper and then I added two more effects that are automated. So then for those automated effects I have a fruity delay 3 with the time turned all the way down. The delay model switch to mono and then the feedback turned almost all the way up and then I also have a instance of portal on the jittery tape preset that is also automated. So overall I think the delay is really the effect that makes the biggest distance as I did a little automation clip to almost make it sort of a riser and it's kind of a distorted rise so it's pretty cool. So here's what this melody sounds like with all the effects added. <laughs> So then for the next sound of the melody, it's a pluck from Serum, and it's actually from one of Sunboy's Serum Banks, and it's called the Basic Pluck. So then for the MIDI for that, it's the same chord pattern pretty much, but I just kept it with one chord, and then I offset it a little bit, because I added some effects, and offsetting it just made it sound a lot better. So then for the effects on that, I started off with Shaper Box 3 on the Halftime Pump preset, then I added a Portal on the Pitch Artifacts preset, then I added a Gross Beat on the Half Beat Gate preset, with the mix turned down to 60, and then finally I added two EQs, one of them is just to boost the highs, and then one of them is just to cut all the lows. So then after all those effects, here's what it ends up sounding like. So then for the next two sounds in the melody, they're both pads that kind of work together just to make the melody seem a lot more full. So they're both from Analog Labs, and the first one is called Ambinun, and then the second one is called Back Cult. So then moving on to the MIDI for both of those, they're the exact same thing. So I just went ahead again and copied over those chords from the original piano MIDI, but I went ahead and removed all of the top line elements and all of the bass line elements just to simplify it a bit. So then for the effects on both of those, on the Ambinun one, I started off with the Jittery Tape preset from Portal, then I added the 
the close encounter glitch preset from portal and both of those are turned down to about 20 to 25 percent on the mix knob then again i added a half beat gate from gross beat with the mix turned down to 60 percent and then finally i added an eq on the old telephone preset with the mix turned down to 75 then for the effects on the back kulf synth i started off with fruity delay 3 on the mono preset next i added a magic switch which is a free chorus plugin with the mix turned down to 50 percent then i added an eq and i actually automated this knob here which controls how much highs are coming through in the melody and then finally i added an imager just to make it feel super nice and wide so then for the automation clips for that like i mentioned i automated how the highs are with one of the synths so as you can see here it starts off with all of the highs coming through sweeps down really fast so you kind of get a cool filtered effect and then it slowly builds back up till the next chord change except for this last little chord because I didn't really think it was important and then like you can see I actually dragged all of the crossfades back because this is a new feature in FL21 and I was just kind of trying it out so then here's what those synths sound like together So that's pretty much it for the base of the melody and then I just went and added three accent sounds just to kind of spice it up. In this melody I really didn't add any like top lines or anything, it's more just like ambient high noises that kind of sound cool together. So then for the first one of these accents, I grabbed this kind of bell kind of sound from a Travis Scott one shot kit. And then here's the MIDI for that. And it just copies that first chord, the first four notes in it. And I just have it descending. And you'll notice that again, I have this kind of offset because I did use the same preset chain that I did for that plug. So I was just kind of finding where the effect kind of altered the sound the best. And this spot just happened to be it. And then for the next sound, which really works well together with the first sound, it's an ARP called Slowly, which I grabbed from one of XY's one shot kits. And then the MIDI for that is is again really simple and it just copies the bass notes of the chord i actually pitched this up into g sharp minor so it goes c c c and then up to g sharp at the end to match that final chord so then after they both went through that same effect chain the only change i made was again using the crossfade knob on the uh arp one to bring it up so it didn't interfere with the pluck just so they could kind of stand alone but still mesh together a little bit so here's what those two sound like together And then for the final one of these accent sounds, I grabbed this sound called Strawberry Flute from a Mellotron one-shot kit. And then here's the MIDI for it. So again, it's a super duper simple MIDI. So this just is on G sharp, which is the root note of the scale. And I went ahead and just laid down a note. So if I go ahead here, lay down about the same length of note, select that, and then do Alt U to chop it up. And then I just accepted that and then went down to the velocities, held right click on the one I wanted to be the highest and then dragged down so it's a nice even sweep. And then for the effects on that, I only have one effect. So it's the Valhalla Supermassive on the default preset with the mix turned all the way up. And then here's what it sounds like in context with the other accent noises. So overall, those three sounds just kind of make a top line, but I wouldn't really consider it like a real top line. It's just kind of a bunch of cool noises that I put together that sound cool. So then for the final sound in the melody, it's a bass, and I actually combined two basses together to make something that was just a little bit more interesting. So the first one is from Serum, and it's the Apollo 13 bass from the Skywalker Serum Bank. And I actually made a change to this, so I went ahead and grabbed an LFO and grabbed it over to control the volume of the noise just so it kind of pulses in and out and kind of gives a little bit more rhythm. And then for the and then for the second bass sound, it's actually just an acoustic bass and it's the one that comes stock with FL Studio and it's called Boo Bass. So starting off with the MIDI from the Serum bass, it just copies the bass notes of course, but then I left gaps where I could fill in with the acoustic bass. So they kind of switch back and forth and overall just make a more interesting melody. And then here's the MIDI for the acoustic bass. And now you can really see what I'm saying where they're kind of switching off. So in the other one, like you remember, there was a bass note here, here, and here. So basically when that other bass isn't playing, this acoustic bass comes in just to fill up the space. So then for the effects on those, I actually affected them together and then rendered them out together to kind of combine them. So then for the first effect, I have Fruity Fast Distort on the default preset with the mix turned down to 25%. And then I added a gross beat on the one beat gate preset, but I altered it a little bit. So I went ahead and clicked on all of the notes and I changed them to smooth rather than hold. So it's a little bit more of a smooth transition and makes it a little bit more interesting. And then finally, I have two EQs just to clean it up a bit. So I have one to kind of sweep out of the highs and then I have one to cut 
and then I have one to cut just a tiny bit of the low end and also a bit of the high end. So then finally, once they're together and have all the same effects on them, here's what it ends up sounding like. So overall, just a super interesting bass line that kind of spices up the low end of the melody a bit. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the whole melody. And then I rendered it all together and pitched it down one in the end. So here's what everything sounds like all together. So yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something. I know I was probably pretty bad with my words in this, just based on that the recording is 35 minutes. Uh, but yeah, hopefully more videos soon. I know I have, I have three videos that are completely done. I have one silent cookup. I have one building my leaf wall and floating shelf. And then I have one uh, building a rack for my audio interface. Uh, so all those should come out fairly shortly. I think this will be the first one out of all of them just because this is the style of video I used to do, but I kind of want to slowly kind of branch off and do something different because this gets really boring. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry if my some of the words were incoherent because I'm talking real fast. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.